Right here we have a 2003 Ford Ranger XLT FX4. I know the first thing you're going to notice is, uh, what happened to the tires? Oh no, the tires. And then, just wait till you see this other side. The, uh, all the tires are dry rotted and flat, but that one right there, again, flat. But this one, when we were having it put onto the back of the truck, for the AAA to tow it, guy was hooked into these here, pulling it on with that winch, and then, whoa, stop, nope, can't, and then it popped right off the beat, so. But that's all right, I had this truck for two days, and I went and bought um, some nice tires for it. I'll leave a picture right here. It's an 03, so of course there's going to be a little bit of rust. Mostly just dirt and stuff that I need to clean up, but yeah, a little bit of rust. I'll go around the truck and show you the rust. Here's a little bit of scratching. These, uh, these steps right here are rusty, but a little bit on the underneath. Really not even anything that bad. 2003, and... Yeah, this thing's like 17 years old, and there's some rust here and there. Of course, the bumpers, because they're chrome. You can see a little more right there. But she's solid. There's no holes through it. It's just rust. It does have a cap, and again, this is a little, little nasty, so I'll just have to clean that up. Um, it doesn't lock right, because this isn't even for a Ford Ranger. But as you can see, there's... Quite a bit of room in this thing. If I drop the tailgate, you'll see with that side there is the cable. On the side it's broken. I'll have to replace that. Yeah, uh, quite a bit of room. If you see that Ford sticker right across that back window right there. The uh, previous owner put that on. And uh, makes it so you can't look out your rear view mirror. But, oh well. Now the battery in it is dead, but um, I've, all the work, all the lights work except for the fog lights up the front, and then this blinker right here. Previous owner had put these on too, but it's a Ranger XLT. Show you the interior. Now, if I took this video at an earlier time, you would have seen how nasty this was. Honestly, this isn't all that bad right now. You can see I vacuumed it. Not all of it though. I wanted to show you that it was a, uh, a smoker's vehicle. As you can see, there's a hole right here. But check this out. There's your ashtray. And it's just about as clean as it gets. Another thing the previous owner put on were these grab bars. They're not too bad. But again, you can see how nasty. I didn't fully vacuum. And there's some, there's some stains in here. Uh, your back seats. As you can see, these seats right here are all the way back, so yeah, there's no there's no getting in when the seats are all the way back. These seat covers are kind of shot. That goes on top of that one. That one has it. Um, yeah, seat covers are pretty much shot. Steering wheel cover ain't in that bad of shape. Probably just put a new one on there, though. Um, I did get underneath here because this shifter it's a little loose. I'll have to get under it again, but uh, it doesn't always go into park, so it won't completely start. I'll have to put it down into neutral, and then it'll start. Um, it's just two bolts, which I'll show you at a later video. Um, they're like T25, Torx head, and yeah, I'll just have to tighten that down again. And probably with some Loctite, that way any vibration doesn't shake it loose again. It is four-wheel drive. We got four high and four low. Cigarette lighter, our 12-volt. Not sure what this button does yet. All your heat and air conditioning, the air conditioning does not work, so I have to put the windows down and just drive. Um, radio works. I'm not sure if the volume does work, though. That's one thing I have to find out. Power windows, power door locks. If you look right here in the middle, we got some storage. 
And then, if you flip it up, it's a metal seat, which is really only about the size of my hand, so it's going to be a little uncomfortable. Once we're in the driver's seat, you can see that this 17-year-old vehicle only has 108,000 miles. Everything about this truck's pretty basic. It does have cruise control, which is really nice. It does have a uh, power mirror adjustment. Have your lights right here, your dimmer switch, your AC. There's that. Let's see if I could. Yeah, that's that sticker right there. See, I mean, you could kind of see out, but not really. In the back here, we got two cup holders for each seat. We have speakers right there. And on the other side, which is nice because you have that speaker there, that one there, and then one down here. So, it makes the sound kind of nice. But anyway, we got a uh, jack in there. A little bit of a nasty floor. The seats, or the seat belt for the middle seat is back there. Got ourselves some cup holders. A little bit of storage. I don't even know what this is. I think it's to a garden house. That's in there. Um, you have for your key to turn on and off the uh, passenger airbag. Under the hood, we have our 4.0 V6. Just showing you, it's, yeah, it's, again, pretty simple. Um, this, I don't know if I said already, but it needs brake lines, needs brakes. Battery is dead. Air filter, I took, I took this apart, and I'll show you a picture of what was in there right now. I'm going to have to clean up that filter and then the cabin air filter. I'm just going to do it the cheap way, and I'll show you a video on how you do that. This here, like I said, the whole truck just all around, it's all pretty yucky. So, it needs a good washing. But that's our motor. I had it running. Uh, I'll, I'll throw in a clip right here. It's, uh, oh my god, it, it's it's just nice. So nice. Here. Like a sewing machine. This thing is so quiet. Oh my god. That's that's nice right there. She's running real nice. I mean we're just about out of gas there, but uh Ah oh. Yeah, she's right around five hundred, maybe six hundred RPM. Right around where the cool should be there. It's not overheating. Nothing dude. What I do want to do this summer is take these here off, sand them down, repaint them. I want to get rid of some of the rust that's, well, that's not rust up there, that's plastic, but underneath here, and then in back here, and back there, both sides. I want to sand that, repaint them. Let's see if I can show you the frame right here. The frame in there, well that's the bed. The bed's a little shot, but we won't talk about that. But the frame has some rust. Nothing major. That right there is not a hole. That's just different colors. But yeah, a nice undercoat on that would be nice. Again, FX4. Got ourselves our hitch set up. Even these little bitty lights right here work, which is nice. Got our little mud flaps. They're always nice to have. Keep the truck a little cleaner, especially on this dirt road. But that right there, folks, there it is. 2003 Ford Ranger XLT FX4. You'll be seeing this in a couple more videos here coming up. Well, uh, yeah, there it is. 800 bucks. Thanks for watching. See y'all.